It is the 16th varsity sport now offered here at St. Anxious High School. It's rugby time now at West 30th and Lorraine, and I'm with the head coach of the Rugby Wildcats, Mr. Dan Arbesnik. And Mr. Arbesnik, coach, what is this like for you, this whole process, the announcement coming just last week now? This has got to be such an exciting time for you. Yeah, John, it's, it's really thrilling to be able to represent St. Ignatius High School. Uh, the program began as the Warrior Rugby Football Club back in 2005. It's been, throughout the last eight, nine years, composed almost entirely of St. Ignatius students. But uh, now really to be able to wear the emblem of St. Ignatius High School and to truly represent the high school is, is something that we've been building for. And uh, we're absolutely thrilled to, to finally have reached the mountain peak, as it were. As you said, it's been such a long process to get to this point here as you started, like you said, with Warrior Rugby now, becoming St. Anxious High School Rugby. How much did you really want this, and, and how hard did you work in the rest of your coaching staff? Because it's been a long process. It has, and it's been the primary goal of, of, of our group of coaches and players. You look back at a lot of the alumni, uh, it gives validation to the process. Uh, and certainly it gives validation to the sport of rugby. Uh, some would say it's the fastest growing sport in the country. Uh, it's part of the 2016 Olympics. We have a number of alumni from St. Ignatius High School, both from our club and who never even played for our club, who have played at the Collegiate Sevens, uh, several who have gone on to become All-Americans. Seamus Seifring at Navy, you can catch him on NBC uh, in the summer times. Uh, uh, so the, the sport of rugby is is very much connected to the Jesuit tradition. If you take a look at the high school ranks, uh, annually the national champion is either from a Gonzaga of Washington, D.C., a Xavier from Manhattan, or Jesuit High School out of Sacramento. All right, now I'm here with Ian McDonald, one of the senior captains on this rugby team. And if that name is familiar to you, well, if you go back to the fall on the Wildcat football team, you started at left guard. And Ian, you know, turning our attention now to rugby, when you first heard that rugby was going to become a varsity sport this season, what was your reaction? I was thrilled. Um, I've known that the sport has been a club at Ignatius and that hasn't stopped me from playing, uh, but there is some validation uh, to having it be a varsity sport. Also, uh, being a varsity sport allows us to recruit a lot more kids. and There's a lot more kids who want to play because they'll know that they'll have the opportunity to get a letter. <coughs> there. And then with it becoming a varsity sport, like you said, that helps you know, you guys get more players into the program. What else is that going to help you with as you go forward? Well, hopefully, it'll teach a lot of kids about rugby um, at the college level. A lot of I know a lot of alumni from Ignatius have uh, been playing rugby or thought about playing, and having the opportunity to learn it in the high school level puts them at an advantage when they hit the collegiate level. And I think when a lot of people at least in this country, you know, think about rugby, the first sport they associate it with is football. So as a guy who's played both sports, you know, how different is it to play rugby, you know, in high school just in general? Well, the main difference is that rugby is a lot more of a player's sport. Um, the rules are very similar to soccer. There aren't any stops. There are no timeouts. Uh, the halftime is very short, and that's it. Um, so whereas in football, you call plays, you call timeouts, you readjust, in rugby, it's up to the players to do all of that. During practices, we'll learn different plays, we'll learn different things to call, but it's up to us to organize it and um, and use it when we want to. It's not the coaches telling us. And as Coach Arbesnik said earlier when he was talking about this program, you guys have had a lot of success, and that was as a club team. So how do you use that success, you know, from the past couple of years, making it to the state semifinals and you know, use that combined with it being a varsity sport now to try and push you over that hump and get even farther. Well, hopefully the motivation of representing our school will help us even more. Um, now we're playing for every single student here. We're hoping that we get more student support. Um, you know, all the fans at the game, they make a difference. So maybe because of all that loud noise and all that cheering, we can perform a lot better. And then finally, when you look at actually rugby on the field, you know, from last year to this year, I know it's in the off season, it's a little early, but as you look, you know, towards the season as, you know, spring approaches, who are some of the key players for us to watch, you know, on this rugby team? Well, I think you should definitely look at forwards Mitch Bryson and Mark Morick, as well as backs Matt Foley and Aiden Mangan. Um, 
three of those seniors are, ca are co-captains with me, and then junior Aiden Mangan has probably some of the best ball skills on this team. Uh, they'll definitely be leading the team along with me, and uh, we hope to give you a great performance. All right, Ian, thank you for your time, and we look forward to bringing you rugby as we do all the other sports here on the SIBN and also the SSID, so stay tuned come springtime for all your rugby news and probably a broadcast. It's such a, an outstanding feeling for all these kids who work hard. They work so hard, and going to St. Anxious High School, but they've had that boundary, like you said, Coach, with, with Warrior Rugby, so... You could feel that, that it was coming, but at the same time, it didn't get the same effect that it looks like it's going to get now. How excited are you to have that same high school across the jerseys? As, as I said, it's absolutely thrilling. Uh, there's just so many things that come with uh, uh, representing St. Ignatius Athletics on the, on the field, uh, in addition to some of the, you know, the nicer things, like the use of facilities, uh, I would say that the pride is the most important thing, knowing that you're representing your classmates uh, and representing your school. And from here now, what are the other programs that you take a look at down the road that you faced off now in previous years, and what are you looking for in the upcoming spring, and how can guys get involved? Well, this is certainly set to be our most challenging spring as of yet. This will be our ninth season. Uh, in seven of the previous eight, we've gone to the state semifinal uh, and we, we've lost in the semifinal. So we're looking to go over the hump this year and win the state championship in our first year as Wildcats. Uh, it was, certainly won't be easy to do. Uh, we've had three different state championships, three different state champions in the last three years. Uh, St. Edward won it last year. Two years ago it was Moeller, and three years ago it was Westerville. So those are the teams to beat in Ohio. Uh, we've hung with or beat all of those teams in previous years. Uh, in addition, this year we're going to be going up against the uh, defending national club champion Cathedral. We'll play Gonzaga from D.C., we'll play Xavier from Manhattan, uh, really the cream of the crop. What's your ultimate goal here for this program? Ultimate goal, our primary goal is using sports as a way of forming young men to espouse the, uh, the mission of St. Ignatius High School. That's our primary goal. Our secondary goal is to have fun and to, to get as many guys to come out to the sport as possible because it's a great time. Third on the list is to be successful because anything that you do in life you want to be successful at. Uh, and we're working at that right now. Coach, it's been such a thrill to be with you here and to watch all these young men really now very excited to get going here at St. Anxious High School and the rugby program here will be beginning in the spring. Thank you for your time. Absolutely. Thanks, John.